Hi and welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Razer laptop. So if you're not sure what model this is, go ahead and turn it around, take a look at the back of your laptop. You should be able to identify the model here. It says Razer RZ09-0370. All right, so I have a cracked screen and I'll be doing a replacement screen for this laptop. So let's go ahead and start working on the laptop. The first thing I notice is the laptop does not have any screw or anything that is holding down the screen. In other words, the bezel is adhesive onto the screen. So one of the things we can do is to get a, um, a heat gun or, or like a hair dryer to warm up the bezel so that we can pry it open. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. I need to have the hit gun. So what I'm doing right now is just warming up the bezel because it is double-sided adhesive tape on it. So that way uh, it's glue on top of the screen. So I need to warm it up and remove the bezel. If you notice that I do not stay in one position because the heat gun can be really hot, I do not want to have any internal damage to like the cable or melt the plastic. So you have to keep moving back and forth just to warm enough to remove the, uh, the bezel, but not to damage the internal part of it. Okay. So at the same time, I'm using the metal prying tube to kind of pry it open. Okay, can always come back to reheat again. You want to work on a small batches, meaning that as you go, you just heat it up where you want to uh, pry it open. Do not heat up the whole thing, and by the time you work on that end of it, it's pr pretty much it's gonna be cold, and that tape is gonna be uh, the glue is gonna be hardened. So uh, work as you want, like you know. Do not just heat up the whole thing all at once.
just take your time and do it one at a time be, just be careful with it because you do not want to bend that bezel this bezel is aluminum like metal so once you bend it you can't really bend it to uh, make it pretty right so you have uh, like a dent on the bezel so just take your time slowly hit it up come back and redo it again until you get it so no rush on this heating process all right there you go i just removed the entire bezel um, looks good there's no bend on it so we're gonna put it on the side here I want you to show it to you that the LCD screen uh, again there's no screw that is holding onto the screen so it is double sided tape um, if you notice that the bottom right corner as well as the bottom left corner you have this little tab and this tab is actually glue where you need to uh, pull it out okay and try not to break it as you pull so sit the uh, have the screen lay flat as much as possible so that when you pull the thing you can see that it's, it's really long that this gooey black stuff okay let's work on the next part right here oh no i broke it oh. well it's not the end of it if you break it uh, because you might be able to find a little bit of a room to get it up again This is a challenge when you break stuff. So make sure, make sure you do not break that rubber. What I did is I broke it. I'm having a hard time, but finally I'm able to uh, get it. There you go. Yeah, so just be very careful next time. Do not break it. Okay, so I was able to pull that thing off. Now once you have removed the two tabs, the two rubber sticky tape on both sides, then the laptop technically would, screen would just come right off. So we're gonna flip it down towards the body. At this point here, we have to separate that tape away from the LCD screen. And then make sure you flip that clipper open up this clipper here flip it up and slide that uh, 40 pin connector away so i believe this is a 40 pin and this is the replacement screen number lq140 m1 jw49 if you're not sure where to buy the replacement screen as well as the tools um, please check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay for this replacement All right, so the next step is the installation. What you're going to do is you need to have 
a double-sided tape like this this is a red double-sided tape um, you can get a thicker one so this is the five millimeter you probably can go up to 10 millimeter which is this this size um, but what happened is that I run out of the tape so this is a right about the same size as the uh, original tape but I don't think you need such a thick or fat um, double-sided tape here this one would do okay and if not you can just put two times of this right one and one next to each other so what I'm trying to do right now is to tape as you can see there's a guideline on a white line so tape it down like so okay make sure you leave enough room if the screen breaks again in future the next person who do the replacement screen will be able to tell oh yeah there is a extra little tab here that we, where they can pull for the next time all right so tape it down first cut it that's good now what you want to do next you can uh, remove the tape okay and be ready to do the installation I do not have the new screen but just assume that this new screen just came in I ordered it online and then uh, what you want to do is to reinstall the 40 pin connector like so just slide it back in towards your body Okay, once you slide it in, push that little safety clipper, the pin to clip it down, and the tape to re-tape it again. Make sure you pull that little tab on, on, on the double-sided tape, and then just re-tape it like such. Okay, and I just hope that the bezel still have enough uh, tape all around it, where you can just re-tape the bezel back together. And if you do not have enough tape or whatever reason, then you can also buy uh, the smaller ones they do sell the two millimeter which is this size right here the two millimeter is really thin and what you can do is uh, you can retape the bezel and glue it back together all right i just hope this video is helpful if you do find the video helpful please go ahead and smash the like button uh, if you have any question comment below uh, haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe it is free to do that and thanks for watching until next time, bye now.